150 people, I told you, I told you I was going to do this and I couldn't wait for my stuff to come (laughs) because my stuff's not even here yet. And I used what I had. So I had this frame. It was a gold frame and it was gifted to me in a swap by Matea. I don't know if Matea watches anymore. She had a baby. I sent her a gift. Haven't heard from her, but this is a frame that she gifted me and it said alter me on it. So I did. So this is the back of the frame. I started out by painting it black. Because like I said, it was gold. And it's a metal frame. Fair, I would assume an expensive frame. It was a beautiful gold frame. Um, so I painted it black. And I really didn't know what to do. I was like at a loss. So I started watching a lot of mixed media videos. And I got different ideas from here and there. And so I started pulling stuff out of my stash. So around here are just pearls, regular plastic pearls. And I hot glued them on. Um, This is a Michaels frame in the center. And of course I needed flowers. So I went to my Wild Orchid Crafts stash of flowers and was like, oh, I don't want to use my pretty pink ones or anything. So I pulled out all the orange ones that I don't ever use and I glued them on and I just searched around my stash. I um, had this cherub and I found this piece in a little tiny drawer that just said miscellaneous. And that is a heart. I popped it up on some 3D Fun Foam. Then this is a metal piece back here and a metal clock that I just had in my stash. This is from the Michaels $1.50 or $2 bin. So, um, and then this is a wood word from Saw Crafters. And the word had broken right here but I just hot glued it before I painted it and I painted it black and um, then I painted some white on it and then I used my, um, let's see if I can show you. These sprays, sorry about that. These sprays I had gotten from um, a design team package. Oh my goodness, I'm, why am I forgetting? I'm so sorry. But these were uh, sent to me, I think two or three of them, and I didn't do mixed media at the time, so I'm just now getting around to using them, and the store is closed, but um, yeah, I'm using them now. Gisela! Gisela's store! Um, And as many of you may know, Gisela's having a baby, so she closed her store. I don't know if it's forever, but um, yeah, she closed it. So after I painted it black, then I had to paint it white. So I painted it white and I left a lot of the black kind of showing through. Then I used my sprays and um, you can see the effect that I got. Um, This area here and this area under here were empty. And, you know, I was done. My project was done. Um, oh, I forgot. I sprinkled some um, some frontage um, all over it and heat set it. But <clears throat> I didn't like the empty spots. So I was like, what can I do in there? And so I went into my bead stash and I poured some, um, uh, what do you call it? Glossy accents in there poured the beads in and then poured glossy accents on top of it so that's what we got going on in that blank spot and i think it turned out fabulous so this is my first official mixed media i mean obviously i've made some projects that have different mediums in them but this is my real first attempt at hardcore mixed media And I'm really happy 
Um, I'm willing to part with this. If anybody's interested, let me know. Um, I think I'd like to get $40 shipped for it. And um, I have a lot of products on the way that I'm going to be creating a lot more things. Let me show you what, what I'm hoping to do next. And I want to create a mixed media project using this um, 12 by 12 Seven Gypsies frame. But anyway, please let me know. I mean, I know a lot of times you guys watch and you don't always comment, but I'm so excited because this mixed media thing is really tripping my trigger. And um, I won't stop with my whimsical cards. I won't stop with my shabby chic. I'm actually going to try, after I learn more how to do this sort of dark um, colors, um, I, I want to learn to do a little bit of steampunk, but I want to incorporate the mixed media and the uh, shabby chic. So um, if you let me know what you think, I'd really appreciate it. All right. Happy Scrappy Days, guys. Bye.